Welcome to Off the Ranch. I'm here with Forrest Voss. This is Tyler Voss's brother. And today is the day that he is taking the Bronco. And I should have cleaned it up. It's very dusty. <laughs> no, I'm glad he didn't. <laughs> that wouldn't be right. We have put 424 miles on it so far. So I've been driving this thing a lot. When did we finish it? Like, I don't know, it was like six months ago or something that we finished this thing probably. And I've been just driving. I've, I've dailyed it a little bit and I've like played with it a little bit. And we tried to work out all the kinks because this crazy dude is about to try to drive it back home to Alaska, which is how many miles? Uh, depends on how we go. I'd say 45 to 4,700 miles. So, oh, jeez. Um, all change worth. I have no idea if this thing's gonna make it. So anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll, be, we'll be rooting for you. But we're gonna go mudding today if there's some mud. It rained yesterday. And we also are gonna try to not break anything because you know he does need this thing to drive 45, 4,700 miles. So ideally, nothing important breaks. Nothing that we can't fix. Have you ever locked the front end on this thing? Um, yes, I did it just to make sure it works. Okay. But I've never really gone like mudding in it before. It's, it doesn't get muddy in Texas very much. Yeah, it'll make it. Got big tires. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> it's too slick. <laughs> all right, new full wheel drive. That's all right. It's... So we're just in two wheel drive, just seeing the ground's pretty wet, but it's not like sinking it kind of mud. It's just real slippery kind of mud. I'm sure full wheel drive will be easy. Yeah, all right, we're gonna cook it in four. We locked her in four wheel drive. And we're gonna go up this hill, and it's gonna go up the so easy now. Yeah, it'll probably be too easy. This hill's actually a lot bigger in person than it is on this camera. Like they all say. Oh yeah. I don't think we're. Oh, maybe we're not. In, maybe we're not in four wheel drive. Oh yeah, that's four wheel drive. We had. We didn't have the front lockers the right direction. Easy. Dude, that thing's a beast. So cool. Looked easy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Too easy. A lot better. Do like a little donut around this this bank's curve. Don't roll it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. We're going up the gun range hill, which is actually very steep. I have made it up it in a minivan, but that was before we've been up it a bunch. Uh, and it had been like washed out because it gets really steep up there where you can't see it gets steep and that's where you're running out of speed. I would uh, back up all the way, back like all the way. get straight, right. back up all the way and then try to keep your speed because the top is the steepest part. Nervous about this one? This tight? Okay, good to go. <laughs> hey, there's there's no uh, old crap bar. Oh yeah. All right, giddy up partner. Oh yeah, give her a go, give her a go, 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 go. Yeah buddy, go, go, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, easy, easy. Good. How'd it feel? That was, that was good. I don't want to blast over the top. Yeah. <laughs> so I was trying to keep it controlled. Yeah, and you don't want to like lose speed and then get stuck and then start sliding sideways because then you're going to roll. As long as you can stay going straight, you can at least roll back down and not roll back down. Easy. It was actually too easy. We were too nervous about it. Yeah. So we need to find something harder. Yeah, buddy. Bring back memories, man. I feel like I'm your kid and you're taking me to school <laughs> in your old beater car. Dad, why can't we drive the nice car? Why do we have to drive this thing? <laughs> I hate this truck. We're gonna go down this hill right here and just kind of slow roll it down. And then I think we're gonna go up. I've, we've never actually been up this thing in a vehicle. I've been up it in a Can-Am, but I think the Bronco with the, those big tires is going to be easy. Yeah, it's wet. It. It's wet, but it's not muddy. I mean, it's should be fine. We got her in low gear, four-wheel drive. Hello. Just, just going to slow roll it down this hill. And then, oh, you scratched the paint. <laughs> and then we'll slow roll it up the hill, and ideally, not get sideways or slip too much. This is pretty easy. We got those big BFGs, 37 inch tires. They're gripping up very good with this.
They're on some vision wheels and we've got some power stop brakes. These axles are off an F350, so it has power stop F350 brakes on a fairly light car, so man, the brakes work super good. Big tires, big brakes, makes doing stuff like this very easy. All right, we are down the hill. I don't think your tires slipped at all, right? Nah, we're gonna go up back up it and it'll be easy. We're just gonna creep it up in low gear, see if we slip any, if we don't, we should make it up very easily. There's a couple shelves, which is gonna be the hard spot. too soon. We just kind of drifted sideways. Oh! This isn't sketchy at all. <laughs> just need a little more gusto. Because that front shelf is going to get us right there. Oh, you're in neutral. There we neutral go. doesn't work. There we go. Drag it. Alright. Give her the beans. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not good. <laughs> not good. <laughs> keep that front end. Oh jeez. Yeah, just keep her not, not sideways, ideally. I think a little more momentum. All right. Think it's doable? I Man, it. this wet dirt's not helping. I can just keep it tracking straight and not. Yeah. It hit. looks like if you go hit that a little on the left, it'll be better too. Oh, Gotta get those lines. Let's, Let's do it. Oh yeah, it feels good. It feels good. Oh, 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 yeah, buddy. Nice, easy. All right, little bitty shelf here. Ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Woo. Heck yeah. Just need a little, what? I just needed a little moment. I don't yeah, know. Bronco ate that for breakfast. No big deal. Got a little dirt on you, camera. You okay? You all right back there? I could road trip back here. Yeah. Are you driving? Sleep. I'll just be napping. Hey man. All right, I'll go with you. <laughs> we got one last spot that's kind of treacherous. We're gonna try. Um, it's not as big as the other hill, but it's it has a little sh some shelves that are a lot steeper. So I don't know. You can't get speed because it'll just throw you up in the air. So you kind of have to crawl these. I'm trying to think, because it's gonna be loose and rocky right over the Yeah, it'll of this. it'll definitely be slipping. Man, this little shelf looks like nothing on this camera. And the Bronco also thought it looks like nothing. It's too easy. Jack, come back. He's backing down the hill. He also probably doesn't know there's a T-post right there. Oh, we don't, he's gonna pop a tire on that T-post. Nope, he sees it. We probably shouldn't be downhill from him, but it's the best view, you know? Look at that view. This is exactly why I didn't want to paint this thing because he is just grinding it on a cedar tree right now. And, and if you painted it, you would never want to do fun stuff like this. But since it's got this old patina, it looks awesome and you're not afraid to do fun stuff. That looks easy. Yeah. So do you have any plans to do anything uh, to this thing? Are you just gonna drive for a while like this? I'm sure eventually something will be done. You can't leave, leave it alone, but, <laughs> but I mean, probably for a while, at least just kind of yeah. have fun with it. Where he lives in Alaska, it's like super impossible to get to for how many months of the year? Eight, probably. Like Eight I, months. I still have snow down at my place. Um, I, I think we won't be able to drive in still yet whenever we get there in May. Like normally, it, like, I don't know. I say I won't be able to. I mean, we try and stay off of it just because the, the road gets so muddy that if you drive in, it just like tears it up. Yeah. And so I'm the only one down that road, but there's a guy that has like a cabin. and. So you still snowmobile in? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so so, so he, he parks his vehicle. He like snowmobiles from his house to a certain spot where he leaves his truck and then he drives into town or work or whatever he's doing. Wild. You're like a wild man. Oh, there's way wilder, but it's fun. You don't, so you have running water? No running, yeah, no water. We're on no solar. Running water. So we got solar now, but no running water. How long did you live? Yeah, go right. How long did you live there without solar or without electricity? Uh, without electricity, probably not super long, maybe like four or five months before I got the solar put in. You know that in Texas, like we don't have snow and we have water and electricity? Like you used to live here, you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to do this to yourself. Hey, it's fun. <laughs> you have to come visit, man. I want to come visit. He built a hot tub and had to bring the water in to the hot tub because they, they don't have running water. He had to fill up his own hot tub like a maniac. I was thinking this, but yeah, this looks... I think it's going to be so loose too. Yeah, it's all. this like, is it's all like, just turned up by a bulldozer. You need like an Ultra 4 
or a trophy truck to do that. I mean, like, you probably could do it just going straight down there, but there also are some huge boulders that could easily roll you. Yeah. So let's just not flip the Bronco on the first day he has it. We got these old culverts over here. We're gonna try to do a Jeep thing and just get up on them. They might start rolling though, so we might have to chase them down the hill. If this thing rolled on me, it would probably break a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna quit doing that. David, my, my cameraman. <laughs> How much would someone have to pay you to get in that thing and roll down a... Maybe just the pond hill, the first hill. Like from the top, like the crest of it? I'd probably do it for a hundred bucks. Dude, I got a hundred bucks. You would not do it for a hundred bucks. I mean, I'm too old for this, but... I think I'd do it for a thousand. Okay, well, if you're gonna do it for a thousand, I'm not gonna do it for anything less than a thousand. <laughs> Place your bets. Can we get a tire on top of the culvert? Tire, the tire is actually a little taller, so I think it might work. It's also probably gonna roll. <laughs> yeah! That's right, now we gotta backstop. Take that, sucker! <laughs> Keep her going! Nah, it's never gonna go up. Yeah. You're below the center line of that. They say that boys don't grow up, they just get bigger toys. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Couldn't be any better. I mean, it could be better, but this is how we break the Bronco on the first day he has it. Oh, yeah. I just got to make sure I don't, like, fly over the other side. <laughs> we can pull you back. That tire's not spinning. Yeah, it's still not spinning that right front. Weird. When you were going up the hill earlier, both of them were spinning. Yeah, I mean your front right was throwing dirt. Okay. Um, so it's not like it's not working, but there's not a limited slip when the when it's locked, right? My brain's broken right now. Yeah, well, that's not spinning either. No, it's just got a limited slip in the front, I guess. I don't know. Can't wait to get on the road again. The life I love is driving Broncos with my friends. And I can't wait to get on the road again. On the road again. Like a band of Broncos, we go down the highway. Matt, the song should end. Okay. That is Black Rifle Headquarters just filmed a podcast, Black Rifle Coffee Podcast, and I, don't, I actually forgot to ask them when it will air, but that was my second time to film with them. My first one uh, has the most views out of anyone on YouTube. Um, I think it has like almost a half million views the first time I came on to the Black Rifle Coffee podcast. And my other claim to fame is on the Unsubscribe podcast, I have the most viewed video as well. So anyway, I am a great podcast guest, guys. I actually hate doing podcasts. I really don't like them at all. 
but I do it for unsubscribe and black rifle because I like all those guys and they're fun and they're fun to hang out with and I want to I want to support them and they want to support me and like it's just I don't know they're good guys both of them uh, both those podcasts so uh, be sure to check out that black rifle podcast when it goes live which might be in a few weeks I'm not really sure also one thing that I pitched to them on the podcast today was ghost town and they were all in I think we need to bring all of the guys in this this kind of YouTube gun space together for this ghost town idea and I think we could actually make it work they were pumped so now maybe it's getting more realistic if I just keep talking about ghost town enough I think the allure is there and I can get more people on board which will make it more likely to happen I actually gotta go see Brandon at muscle rod right now so we can make some some plans I'll show you oh yeah and the Barracuda is done. Brandon said I could take it home today. Just right, we're done. start her up and uh, roll out. We just made a plan actually. There's several more things it needs, but possibly we'll be rolling in the next week. Yeah, yeah, week. Like week rolling good. on its own power, uh, which it has done before, which doesn't sound very exciting, but like, I mean, it's got gauges and stuff now. Like it's actually, it's actually coming together. It's a got lot of and wiring and it's got wires this time. And receiver. It's got a place to, you know, tow something, which is the only reason I it's the only reason I wanted this car. I just needed a, a truck to tow some things with. And this this will do the job. I'm gonna snap and it'll be done. Ready? Oh, nope, that didn't work. I thought it might work. Alright. Try, try again, please. Try one more time. Uh, my finger actually kinda hurts. So I'll, I'll do it later. See you dude. Cool. Bye. Brandon is trying to get that thing done really quickly because we're going to hang out with Granger Smith in a few days. Uh, Kentucky's coming down and we we're gonna go up and see him. And I was going to drive, we always take like trucks up there and do truck stuff with Granger. Uh, it's about a two hour drive from my house in a normal vehicle. I took the Humvee one time and it took three and a half hours and was miserable. But I was going to take the five ton which would be nice because it has air conditioning it's, and it actually drives 70, unlike the Humvee. So it shouldn't take too long. But then Brandon was like, what if I get the CUDA ready by then? I was like, yeah, let's go. So he's trying to get the CUDA done enough to be roadworthy, which it has never been. We hauled it over to the Houston Cletus and Cars on a trailer and just drove it around the parking lot because it was very duct tapes together. So he is trying to make it to where we can road trip it like two to three hours away. And uh, I don't know, he only has like a few more days to do it. So we'll see if that works out. I actually have to head to um, the grocery store. Um, Just picking up some milk and eggs for the family at the Apache Grocery Works store. Those eggs sure come in big boxes these days. It's weird. Fire truck update. You guys haven't seen Master Chief in a while. This is a 1998 LMTV, Stuart and Stevenson, and uh, it's got a cat diesel motor. It's a big old two and a half ton truck, and we made it into our fire truck. Let me show you the upgrades. We finally have this thing, I think it's actually done. Um, we've been using it as we've been doing all this construction, not today when it's been rainy, but as it's been dry, we've been spraying down the road, try to keep the dust down and everything until we get it all asphalted. So we've been using it, not for fires, thankfully, but for just using it as a water truck. So this is a 500 gallon water tank, which when full, weighs about 4,500 pounds. We have it strapped down with these big, metal square tubings in these three locations there. So it's bolted down, nice. And it is secure. And then you see we have two pipes going into it. So you fill it here, it has two pipes going into it and that is so we can recirculate. I'll show you more about that. But the way the water comes out is it goes out right here through this pipe and down. It goes down through there, down in here, comes down there, goes into our pump. So we have this big trash pump right here is what they call these water pumps and that pressurizes it and then it goes out through this thing around here and then we also have a valve this is so if we want to just drain the whole system uh, you would you could use that without it being pressurized 
theoretically, I guess you could use it pressurized, but it's mostly just for if we need just a little bit of water or we just want to drain the whole system. But the pressurized goes up here, goes to the other side of the truck, right there, and then comes up. Hey, get out of the way! And then comes up to this T right here, and this is where it can recirculate. So I can open that thing up and it can just pump in case I just need to run that engine a little bit, in case we need a, like we're ready to fire to fire, but we don't need the water right then. I can have everything running and it's circulating, not burning up the pump. But usually that's closed, so the water is forced this way and goes down here to our hose reel, which also has a valve on the end, and then you can. Spray it. We have a hundred feet of one inch hose right there, so we can get fairly far away, you know, around a hundred feet away from our fire truck to put out our fire. On this side, if you open this little door, oh my gosh, there's another thing there. So this pipe actually comes down, makes a T over there. So one goes to the pump, one goes to this outlet, which will hook up to this two inch suction hose. What might you need a suction hose for, Matt? It's two inches. It's two inches in diameter. You know what diameter is? Me neither. So it hooks up to that two inch suction hose in case we want to refill the tank. This is actually a thinker. So there's a valve here. So this is assuming we have no water in our tank, but obviously we do, but there's a valve there. So you would close this valve because now the water going to the pump, we want to come from another source, whether it's another water tank or even theoretically like a pond or a lake. So we would hook our suction hose up, we put the suction hose in whatever we are wanting to get water out of, and keep that valve closed and that valve open, and then this pump will suck water up and pump it around and fill up our tank. So basically the water hose, we put a water hose on the top of that, it takes like an hour or more, probably like an hour and a half to fill up this whole tank with a water hose. But, a two inch line with the pump will fill up this water tank in about 10 minutes. So it's much better. If you're fighting a fire, you don't be like, hey, we uh, ran out of water. Be back an hour and a half. Good luck to you. Bye. You want to be like, we're going to go get water and we'll be right back. And so this thing, we should be able to fill it anywhere. Um, any body of water, we can just stick that hose in, fill it up. I haven't actually tried that yet. One thing that worries me is the amount of air in that line to get up there. But I think if there's just some water in the pump, it should be enough to suck it up. And once it gets going, then it'll go good. Anyway, that's uh, one of the additions to iteration like five of this fire truck that we added. Because I was like, man, I want to be able to fill this thing faster. All right, you ready to turn it on? Yeah. Go grab the nozzle. Let's do it. I also rigged this up so it can be done as a one-man thing. So I could have that hose valve off over there and turn it on. And then I could walk over there and do it. So it is a very easy system here. Just put the choke on and give her a pull. We're good to go. Do it. What am I missing? Why is it not spraying? Aha, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> and then you put out a fire. I mean, and look at the joy it brings a young boy playing with a fire truck. <laughs> That's cool! So we actually haven't sprayed the entire tank down with this yet, but when we had a slightly bigger hose, I had a one and a half inch hose, and it would take it like, I think like I think it was like 12 minutes or something to totally drain. So I think this one is putting out a little less water since it's a one inch, a little bit longer hose. So to probably, I'm guessing about 15 minutes of firefighting before that tank is empty and we need to refill. But as you can see, it probably shoots, I don't know, about 100 feet. So you have 100 feet of hose, and then that thing will shoot about 100 feet. So you can be have your truck pretty far away from the fire, which is good if need be, and you have plenty of room to walk around. Love it. <laughs> anyway, I thought you guys would think that was cool. We got the fire truck operational and looking so good. Oh, we're out of gas. <laughs> That's uh, that was a good lesson too. Maybe we should keep that gas tank full in case of fires. It would sure be sad if you had a bunch of water in your tank but no way to get it out. This truck is awesome because it can go up crazy hills. This 4,500 pounds of water, plus all the equipment um, that's up there. It's probably 5,000 pounds on the bed. You cannot tell driving around. Like I wish I would have got a bigger tank actually because this thing drives around with a 5,000 pound load and it feels just the same as when it was empty. So 
That thing's a beast. Beast, beast, beast. So to go all over the property, I can drive through trees. I can go straight through all that brush right there if I need to get through a place where there's not a road. And I can put out a freaking fire anywhere. Or my neighbor's land's on fire. You know, 10 minutes down the road, they need some water. Like, I can do it. So I don't know. I like this thing. Oh, you guys want to see on the roof? Look what we did. Oh, the sticker actually looks kind of old. It's been up here for a while. Oh, it's just dirty. It's just dusty. This dirt road's all over it. So we have the Demolition Ranch Volunteer Fire Department. I am a chief. I am king of the demolition and chief of the Demolition Fire Department. And uh, Master Chief gets all the job done. If you guys have any more suggestions on this fire truck setup, let me know. But I'm kind of loving it, and I think... I think I finally got it figured out. This really is like my fourth attempt at fire truck. All of them have worked, but every time I've realized something else that would make it better. And so, iteration four to six, whatever this is. Remember that old white tank that you had? Yeah. That was bad. <laughs> yeah, that was. I, I bought a different tank and realized uh, some downfalls in that tank. So that's why I ordered this. They call this a loaf tank. That's where we're gonna end it today. Uh, big stuff coming. Baba Diva. Baba Diva? Big stuff coming Howdy. toward the end of the week. We are going to hang out with Granger Smith, and uh, yeah, you're gonna want to come see that. Wait, we are? You're not. You're gonna be at school. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this episode of Off the Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Ah. Ah. Hey, what camera is that? Number... Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare!